stands up here on Sunday morning. <coughs> it is about what God's doing in your heart. And for 180 years, that's 65 pastors, world wars, depression, the civil war, whatever it might be, the people of Salem have kept it going. And we pastors, we 65 individuals who have been blessed to occupy this pulpit, we have been the beneficiaries of how God has blessed the church. And so now it is my pleasure to ask us each to remember the many blessings that God has bestowed in our life. May the grace of Jesus Christ fill your hearts in ways that open you to accept God's invitation of blessing. May the love of God surround you as you walk this world, protecting you, giving you peace. And as you go forward to reveal God's blessing in the way you love, in the way you live, in the way you serve, may each embrace you offer, each handshake you extend, each helping hand you, you provide, each word you speak, it all be done in full communion with God's Holy Spirit. So let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we conclude as we do each time the good people of Salem United Methodist Church Chapel with this powerful affirmation. We are a people loved by God. May we live the signs of the world of God's love. Now again this week, and I do I, I do enjoy special music at the end of the service, uh, but for a couple weeks I wanted to try doing a hymn. And so today we're going to, to close, and I want you to think about just what this, these words say. God be with you till we meet again. It's a traditional closing hymn in the United Methodist Church. And it's page 672, at least I hope it is, uh, verses 1 and 2.